everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. I hope that wherever you are on the planet today that you are having a beautiful day. I really just wanted to make a quick video. It is Thanksgiving in the United States of America, which of course always causes me to just reflect upon the things that I am grateful for. And I do believe gratitude is such a high vibration energy. In fact, it's one of those energies that's so replicative and magnetic when we're feeling gratitude and feeling truly thankful for our blessings that's when the universe responds because of course the universe is a wholly reactive and responsive organism that supports us based on the signal that we give it and so if we are vibrating in that gratitude and in that thankfulness, the universe receives that and returns unto us more experiences and conditions for which we can be grateful. So it's important, not just on one day out of the year, to feel gratitude and to, to feel as blessed as we truly are. You know, a lot of us don't really stop and notice the things that we have that are such blessings. We spend a lot of time pointing our interest and our focus at the things that aren't working, the places we are not yet, whether that's an actual place or a hypothetical place, a goal that we have not yet achieved. We end up focusing on things that we don't have without taking enough stock in the things that we do have. And really just the simple things like having a roof over our heads or having something to eat tonight or being able to clothe our children or send them to school. I mean, these are things that so many people in the Western world take for granted and so many people around the planet don't have those things. And at the same time, I also want to acknowledge that a lot of us are struggling, especially as we're going into the holidays. We're struggling because we've lost family members. How many of you out there have lost family members. I've lost quite a few, none this year, thankful. Let me knock on some wood really quickly. But I've lost my mom, I've lost my dad, I've lost loved ones. And I think about them at this time of year, especially Thanksgiving, because it's probably my favorite holiday. It's just a family holiday where we can all sit around, eat a lot of good food and talk about the reasons we're thankful and also just to enjoy their company. But some of us we're missing our family and I know it can be hard. And as we sail into Christmas, that's another hard one it can be. We tend to notice what is missing around the tree and or what we can't provide. And I just wanna I just wanna call our attention to pivoting away from that while acknowledging the fact that it can be hard. It's okay to be sad sometimes and even frustrated. Let's not forget how blessed we are. I often remember the late Anthony DeMello. He was a Jesuit priest who was very high consciousness and he wrote a book called Awareness among others which I highly recommend. But in one of his books, well I think it was Awareness, he was talking about the state of the world just being so very crazy and I'm completely paraphrasing him. He was so eloquent but he was talking about how overwhelming the world can be and how the outpictured reality can be very disturbing, especially to us sensitive people, and how that can be very overwhelming and how we can spiral down because of it. And so he reminded us in that book to take stock of the things for which we are so blessed, to take stock in the simple things, and to remind ourselves that right here and right now, in this moment, we are okay. In this moment, we're warm. In this moment, we have our children with us. In this moment, we have a car. We have a house or an apartment. In this moment, we are okay. And sometimes just realizing that and being in the energy of, you know what, I'm okay. All is well. It's going to be okay. Sometimes that's sufficient to knock us out of a funk or out of a depression. But on this day, Thanksgiving here in the U.S., I'm just thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for all of you who have been on this journey with me. And I know some of you have been with me since I started this channel many years ago. Boy, have I changed in those years. I mean, not just physically. How dare you? I mean, not just physically. We get older. 
but also I've learned so much. I've come so far. I've, I've changed how I think about some things and I changed the way I do things. And I'm just thankful for you. I'm thankful for the community that we fostered together. I'm just thankful for people out there who think about me. And when I'm down, you guys pray for me. And when I'm up, you guys rejoice with me. And I am so thankful for you here in YouTube and you in the Lightworkers Lab, you wherever you follow me and stay connected to me. I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my three big Great Danes who I love. They're so beautiful. They're getting older. Makes me sad. My little Koa, well, he's not little. He's 150 pounds, but my little Koa, He's uh, got a gray beard and gray head now, and he's just, time marches on, you know, and I'm trying to be mindful of just loving Koa and Sunshine and Ku. And I'm so grateful also for my daughter and her wife, just how wonderful they are, you know, just what a cool kid I raised. And she moved away um, this year. She moved from Texas to Phoenix and just pursuing her dreams and just how strong she is and brave and hopeful. We need people like her in this planet, people with a good heart and like her wife, just people who are compassionate. And I'm just grateful for them. I'm just so thankful. And of course, I'm so thankful for the people in my ministry who help me do what I do. These are the people who run the Lightworkers Lab, who moderate my spaces, who write me or call me or just get in touch with me when I'm overwhelmed and feeling down and they give me a kind word. I'm just grateful for my friends. You know, I don't have a lot of in real life friends because I'm just, I work all the time and I'm grateful for that too. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be building something that means something that touches people. Like I get to do that and I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful for all of the people who helped me to do that. And I just speak blessings upon them and all of you. And of course, lest I forget, I am so very grateful for my husband, Jeremy Compton. Oh, tear balls. <laughs> he is just a wonderful man. And he is not like me. <laughs> He's not like us necessarily. Not incredibly woo-woo. Definitely brings the science to the science of spirituality. But he loves me so completely. And he supports me. And no matter what, he's always there for me. And I, he plays with me. <laughs> he makes trouble to me. He's just a best friend. He's a great friend and a wonderful person. And I'm just so thankful and blessed. And today I'm just mentioning him and everybody else, my animals, this house. Let's not forget the house. <laughs> I've been complaining about my moving situation and my living situation for some time. But I'm grateful. I'm so grateful to have... This house, which has been in my family for, or my husband's family for 40 years, and and we're, we get to change it. We get to create it into something that fits and suits us and have an adventure in this house and give it new life. You know, everything has energy and old houses, they have their own energy and so do new houses. And I think old houses with their own personality really appreciate love and care and we're going to do that to honor my husband's grandfather and grandmother and so i'm grateful i'm just thankful today is thanksgiving <laughs> today's thanksgiving and i'm filled with love i'm filled with joy i'm filled with all of that for you for myself for our lives for our future i feel really hopeful for us guys going forward i feel so hopeful for the next year and I am so appreciative that I'm going to be going through that year with you. Nothing but love for you, baby. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>